Hello, and welcome to the Ancient Art of Fishing channel. Today we're going to be talking about public shore fishing spots that everyone can go and enjoy on the official Lake of Wisconsin, also known as Lake Wisconsin. You cannot claim to be a great Wisconsin fisherman without at least catching one fish from the official Lake of Wisconsin. I'm just kidding. But if you want to fish the official Lake of Wisconsin and you don't have a boat, this is known as a boat lake, and all these islands and places are available with a boat. But if you don't have a boat or don't want to bring it out, these seven locations you can fish, and all of them have fish. So let's move on to the first one. The first one I personally have not fished and been to, but there is a public boat landing just to the west of Turtle Island. It's called the Eliway Public Boat Landing off of Lake Drive. It's a very small pier, but it's a public landing, so you can fish off of it. I have not fished off of here, and I don't plan to fish off of here because the other spots are much bigger and I think much better. The second one is the by the Merrimack Ferry, and this is on the Lodi side. Um, basically, if you want to get here, you just Google up the Merrimack Scoop, and you basically get on this wayside park here. There is actually a fishing pier here with pole holders, so if you don't have pole holders, you can actually use the ones on the pier. And there are, depending on the day, there are uh, really big carp, really big buffalo. Um, I've caught a couple of small catfish, and of course, uh, freshwater drop. There are also bluegills under the uh, under the boat pier. So that's what you can get uh, basically at the Merrimack Ferry on the Lodi side. And you would just go to the Merrimack Scoop. And it's basically uh, a little bit to the east of the Merrimack Scoop in the same wayside park. So moving on, the next one is the Highway V Bridge. Now to get here, you would just Google up Fitz's on the Lake and you would actually park on the uh, side of the road here, and you can actually fish this area with these rocks on the County uh, V Bridge. And there's an assortment of fish here, like bass, wallies, uh, gato fish, and drum. It's all here. You can also look up Lake Park and go the other way as well, but uh, fishing off these rocks here, that is the third place we're going to take. Uh, we're we're going to talk about, and that is the Highway V Bridge. Pretty productive place, I have to say. And it, I think it drops off about 10, 11 feet uh, around the bridge area. So fairly deep and a lot of fish. The next point we're going to go to is Whalen Bay. Now, Whalen Bay is a very shallow bay on one side of Lake Wisconsin. You can either fish in the bay or you can actually fish um, on the opposite side of the bay. I prefer the opposite side of the bay. Whalen Bay is uh, very dependent on water levels, which means this year it sucks because this year water levels are several feet lower than usual, and it's actually very hard for boats to even get in the bay now. Plus, it's very much overgrown in the summer. Now, this is also a County V Bridge, but I call the first one the County Road V Bridge, and I call this one Whalen Bay. There are carp and, well, there's bass in the, on the bay side. There's carp on the other side and on the bay side. Uh, however, if you actually fish off the rocks on the non-bay side, there are pike, and there are flathead catfish at night. Plus, the actual bridge area is a little deeper than the rest of the side areas, and there are uh, some white bass and crappie there from time to time. So, Whalen Bay. The next one, you have to go on the other side of the lake, and you go to one of my favorite places called Merrimack Memorial Park. Now, this is like a, just a little bit away from the Merrimack side of the ferry, and there is a fishing pier here. I've caught big gato fish, big drum, and there are uh, both channels and flatheads here. There are a lot of bluegills off the rocks that you can actually use, uh, catch to use as bait. So it's kind of a full package. There's also minnows there, and you can catch walleye there casting. So this is a very, very nice place. Also, it drops off extremely deep around here, and you can see the carp and buffalo out there. So you can pretty much catch everything here. You can throw out uh, from the fishing pier, there are pole holders there, and you will be in like 20 feet of water. A lot of good fishing there. I have uh, one of my favorite spots just to chill and fish. Also, there's a park around it with like a picnic table and like a pavilion shelter. Not bad to host a get together while fishing. The next place we're going to go after is the Merrimack Ferry, but this time on the Merrimack side. And yes, you can fish off at near the uh, near the ferry. Um, Obviously, you don't get in the way of the ferry, but there is like a little bit of a greenery here. You can actually just fish off of this angle right there. Also, like next to the concession stand, some people fish there as well. Decent fishing spot. I'm not a huge fan of fishing right next to the ferry because it is kind of loud, honestly, going back and forth. 
but that is a decent fishing spot. Now, there are two other spots that I actually want to talk about. Um, basically, Moon Valley and Gala Slow. Moon Valley is on one side. Um, there's also this Wally Lane way Wayside Park, but it's basically the same area as Moon Valley. And then across Main Street, there's Gallus Slow. Now, Moon Valley has a lot of good panfish early in the summer. There's also some catfish there and some bass and also like some walleye that swim in. There is a pier in Moon Valley, uh, but it is kind of crowded. So you'll have to adjust accordingly. If you go there late in the day, someone will probably be there first on that ramp. So the Moon Valley boat ramp and kind of like there's a bait shop there as well. So you can actually fish there and buy your bait there. Now, Gallus Slow is a little less accessible um, if you don't have a boat. There is a place you can kind of like stand, uh, set your poles in, but there is a lot of growth around it as well. But Gallus Slow also has like bowfin, um, some catfish, uh, bass, and pike. So that is the last place I'm going to talk about. So once again, the in reverse order, the places to fish on uh, Shorefish Lake, Wisconsin are Gallus Slow, Moon Valley, Merrimack Ferry on the Merrimack side, Merrimack Memorial Park, Wayland Bay, Highway V Bridge near Fitz's on the lake, uh, Wayside Park, and that's the Merrimack Ferry on the Lodi side, and of course, Aliway Public Boat Landing. If anyone's fished Aliway Public Boat Landing, let me know. I don't really plan to fish there. It's too small, and I think the other places are just better, but I would like to know how it is there. So that is, those are the places to fish the official Lake of Wisconsin from shore. Hopefully you can have some fishing there, good fishing there. There are some monster, monster fish, like 30 pound buffaloes, 20 pound plus catfish, and just other huge fish in the official Lake of Wisconsin. As a bonus, uh, leaving the official Lake of Wisconsin, um, basically there is this, this camp rest park that you might be able to fish from on the Wisconsin River on the way out of the official Lake of Wisconsin. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a few more spots and let me know what you've caught from shore from the official Lake of Wisconsin. So uh, thank you. Have a nice day and I will see you on the next fishing adventure.